Good morning. You know, I think it's the easiest thing in the world, maybe, to trigger losers. All you have to do is move, <laughs> because nothing is happening in these losers, or nothing is happening with them or to them. <laughs> so if you just move, they will be triggered by it. Or, and if you accomplish something, then you will trigger them again. Yeah, they can't accomplish anything themselves, you see. So, I think maybe many of them, they become bureaucrats or journalists, so, they, so that they can bother people who are moving. <laughs> right? Elon Musk is triggering a lot of people, because he's moving and he's accomplishing something. You know, I saw this fantastic interview, it was maybe the best interview I've seen in, in years. So this BBC reporter came to the Twitter headquarters unannounced and Elon Musk granted him an interview. <laughs> you, should, you should watch this stuff, it's fantastic. He, Elon Musk totally ripped him apart, exposed him for the loser that he is. He came there, this journalist from BBC, thinking he was a big shot. You know, he had all these tough questions prepared. And Elon Musk, he turned it around completely. It's be it was so beautiful to watch this. Right. <laughs> now, I, I was watching, I was reading an article from Breitbart. This was about Elon Musk, and maybe, I think, Breitbart sucks. I think so. You see, because I read this article, and I, I just read it to you, okay? It's from the uh, 8th of April, Breitbart, and this is what they say about Elon Musk. Elon Musk's Twitter is now disabling comments, likes, and retweets for tweets containing links to Substack. Self-proclaimed free speech absolutist Musk may be censoring Substack to launch a competing product from Twitter. Right. So I thought, okay, wow, that's pretty bad. Right. So I checked it out. And I tried it. I did exactly what they say here. For, First, I tweeted a link to a Substack article. Worked fine. Then I retweeted a tweet with a link to a Substack article. Worked fine. So, possibly, Breitbart sucks. Now, finally this. I was watching Kid Rock. <laughs> this was so good. Kid Rock's, you know, he's a singer, songwriter. His reaction to Bud Light. <laughs> well, you know, Bud Light, they hired this transvestite to do commercials for them, for a beer. You know? <laughs> I actually watched one of these commercials. It's, a, it's the most, well, it was disgusting. It was hard to watch this stuff. So, uh, Kid Rock reacted to this. <laughs> I will not tell you what he did. Maybe I can trigger you, your interest to watch it. I'll post a link to it. It has 54, 51 million views. This <laughs> Kid Rock reaction. You know, Bud Light, this is what I saw. They lost 4 billion in a few days after this, uh, com these commercials with these transvestite. <laughs> I mean, these people, they are so incredibly stupid. It's unbelievable. Some say they, say they were forced to do it by BlackRock. No, I don't know. Uh, this is hard for me to believe. This is what I heard. They were forced to do these commercials with this transvestite. You know. I really don't believe this, but uh, I just wanted to say it. All right, so Kid Rock <laughs> strongly recommended this video. It's 
it's so good. <laughs> All right, be good.